I'm Zed Schumhorn. I'd like to show you some of the WebEx calling features that are available within the WebEx app. We're going to start with some common calling features, and we're going to go into some of the more advanced features as well. Of the common telephony features that we're going to talk about, we're going to show hold and resume, transfer, conference. This is an audio conference or an NWA conference, as well as sharing content. We have a user here who has a chat open with a colleague. They're going to select the calling button, and now they've launched a call to their colleague. Once the call is established, we're going to click on the More button here, and we can see how to press the call on hold. The green button will simply resume the call. And then we can also do things like transfer the call. You can either dial it an extension, or in this case, we're going to just search for a colleague by name, and then click the green calling icon. And then we could just complete the transfer. If instead of wanting to just transfer the call, you can easily conference a call again. We've launched the call again. Now we're going to select conference. Again, you could have used either extensions or search for a colleague by name. <clears throat> Press the green call button and now merge the calls. And you're, the three of you are now in an audio conference. I also wanted to show what it looks like to receive a call. So we have a chat open. So we're working away and we get the toaster pop up of an incoming call. And we simply can click answer. Just like on outbound calls, all the same mid-call handling features are still present. Now I'd like to show how to share content in a call. We have our chat with our coworker. We're going to click the call. Once the other end answers the call, we can then click on the share button, select any of our open applications, share it. In this case, we're using PowerPoint. We can toggle through the slides so you can see different aspects of the content. This is live. And then you simply click stop sharing when you're ready and you can end the call. Now I'd like to show just a sample of some of the advanced features that are capable. We're going to show how to forward calls, how to record calls, what it looks like to receive an inbound call from Hunt Group, a little bit on the executive assistant feature, and finally the call poll feature. Let's start with forwarding calls. If you open up your call settings, you see this call forward option and you can either send it directly to voicemail, or if you click on Open Call Preferences, you have the ability to add another number. So I'm going to enter a number here, say for my working lab, that I know that uh, I want to get the calls with the phone in there. So enter the number there, come back to my call settings, and then I can select that number now from this drop-down list. When I'm done, all I need to do is open back up my call settings, select the drop-down again, and select Do Not Forward Calls. Now let's look at the recording feature. So we have an inbound call from a colleague. We're going to answer it, but we need to record a certain aspect of this conversation for later reference. We click the More button, select Start Recording. We can then also pause, resume the recording. This is an optional feature. You also have compliance recording capable within WebEx Calling as well. Let's look at what it looks like for a user to be part of a hunt group and receive a call. Here we see the toaster pop up. We see that the hunt group identifier is there, and we also see who the actual calling party was. We have all the same mid-call handling features that we would for a normal point-to-point -point call, and we can then just end the call when we're done. The executive assistant feature allows a user to place or receive calls on behalf of another user. Here, the assistant has selected the executive's line and is now dialing a number out on behalf of that executive. They place a call to the other party, once the party answers, again, same mid-call handling features, and we can now transfer it directly to the executive. Inbound calls to the executive appear in the assistance app. They can answer the call. And again, same features to transfer to the executive. The final feature for this video is the call pull feature. Here we show a call, say it's on your mobile phone, but in your app, you see the presence of it. You simply click the calling icon, and in the top corner here, we have this call poll. We've now moved the call seamlessly from your mobile device to the app. In this video for WebEx Calling, we've covered the common telephony features, as well as just a few of the advanced features that are available within the WebEx app. For more information, check out the YouTube channel that the TMEs have for other WebEx videos as well.